Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 22.04 in VirtualBox. I'll be using the latest version of VirtualBox which is 7.0 at the time of this recording um, and this latest version 7.0 allows for an unattended installation process which is a new feature in VirtualBox. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the Ubuntu ISO file. So you can see on my screen here, I'm on the Ubuntu website. Um, I'm on the 22.04 uh, page and there's an option here to download the desktop image, 64-bit desktop image. So you'll need to click on that. That should start the download process. Um, I've already downloaded the ISO because it's a, a very large file, I think over three gigs. But just to speed things up, I have already downloaded that. You can see it here in my downloads folder. Okay, so once you have the ISO file downloaded, the next thing you need to do is open up VirtualBox. So you already should have VirtualBox installed on your machine. If you don't, there is a link in the description on how to install VirtualBox on a Windows system. Once you have VirtualBox installed, you just open it up. You click on this option here, new. This, was, this will allow us to create a new virtual machine. So just need to fill in some of the details here. So first of all, name. So this is the name we're going to give our machine. So in this case, I'm just going to call it Ubuntu 22.04. or Ubuntu-22-04. Okay, then it asks me what folder do I want to um, store the virtual machine image in. I'm just gonna leave the default here. Now it's asking me for an ISO file to do the install. So I'm just gonna browse to that uh, Ubuntu ISO that we've just downloaded. So you can see that here, that's in my downloads folder. Click on that, and once you click on that, the installation wizard um, realizes that you're installing Linux and um, the Ubuntu 64-bit version. There is a checkbox here if we want to skip the unattended installation process, but we're going to use the unattended installation process uh, for this video. As I said, that's a new feature in VirtualBox 7.0, so if you're not using VirtualBox 7.0 or higher, then you will not have the unattended installation option. So it might be worth upgrading to 7.0 just to get that option. Okay, so once we filled in the details here, you just need to click next. Then you need to fill in some info for the unattended install. So it's looking for a username, password here. So I'm just gonna leave these at the defaults. The default password here is change me. So I'll change that later uh, once I log into the machine. For now, I'll just leave the default. And over here, it's looking for a host name and the main name. So again, I'll just leave those defaults. Now I'm just gonna click next. And it's asking me what kind of hardware spec do I want for my virtual machine? I'm just gonna bump this up here to around eight gigs. And I'm gonna say, uh, two CPUs. Okay, so that, that should be enough for my requirements. You may need a, a higher spec or a lower spec depending on your needs, but that's good enough for me. I'm just gonna hit next. It's asking me to um, create, create or give the virtual hard disk size. So the install process will create the virtual hard disk for us, but it just needs to know what size we want that at. So I'm just gonna bump this up again. Say around 50 gigs. Type it in here, it might be easier. Okay, so we want a 50 gig disk and we can leave the rest of the settings. That looks good, just hit next. Okay, now it gives us a summary of what we've just input. 
So it runs through the machine name folder, it's the image, um, gets the OS type, and then details for the unattended installation. You can, you can see these are the details we've just set. The hardware, eight gigs as we said, two CPUs, and a disk size of 50 gigs. So then I'm just gonna hit finish. You can see then up here in the top right, the machine is going to power up and it, it should connect then to the Ubuntu ISO image and start that install process. Okay, so you shouldn't need to click anything here. You should just be able to let this run and it should run through the install itself. You can see here on the left also that I now have a new machine over here, the Ubuntu 2204 machine. It's just a shell at the moment, but once the install process is finished, we'll have a new virtual machine here. So I'm just going to pause the recording while some of the installation process runs just to speed things up. Okay, you can see the wizard is now in progress. Um, so again, it will take a bit of time just to run through the run through the install process and input the configuration settings that we supplied in the earlier steps. So again, I'm just going to pause the recording just while it runs through some of those steps. Okay, as you can see, we're finished the copying file stage and moved on to the installing system stage. So again, this could take a while, so I'm just going to pause the recording while this runs. You now see that things have moved on. We're on the configuring hardware stage now. Um, so again, I'll just pause the recording while that's in progress. Okay, so the unattended installation process has just finished. As you can see here now, the virtual machine is rebooting. So hopefully it'll come up with the install of Ubuntu complete. We should be good to go. So I'm just gonna pause the recording again, just while the machine boots up. Okay, so you can see the machine has booted up. And it's now on the login screen. So I'm just gonna click here on my user. It's looking for the password. So this is the password that we set earlier in the unattended installation configuration. Okay, so as you can see, it's just logged me in. Looks good so far. So now it's going to ask just to configure certain things in here um, regarding online accounts. I don't want to do any of that, so I'm just going to hit skip. It's asking me, do I want to set up live patching? Just click next on this. 
and it's asking me do I want to help improve the Ubuntu process I'm just going to click yes on that again and hit next click next again now you're good to go just going to click done okay as you can see the install looks good uh, but we have all this kind of gray space here around our screen um, but at the moment we can't put Ubuntu into full screen on VirtualBox so to enable full screen we need to install the drivers for Ubuntu so to do that we need to come up here and click on devices we need to click this option here insert guest additions CD image I'm gonna click on that so that should um, should basically give us the option now to browse to here you can see this this just popped up here on our left menu bar so if I click on that you can see it brings me into this disk that just that's just been attached to our machine so within here there are a number of files I believe this is the one we want to run so I just right click and click run as a program Okay, so the password I just entered there is the password again that I logged in with and the password we set at the very start in the unattended installation settings. Okay, so the installer now should just run through an install process of the drivers that are required to enable full screen mode on the machine. So again, I'm just, I'll just pause the recording while that installation is happening. Okay, so you can see that that install process is complete, but we now need to just reboot the machine um, just for it to take effect. So it's asking me to hit enter here to close the window. Just gonna X out of that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start restart my machine. I'm just gonna hit reset here. Okay, so when my machine boots up now, I should be able to go into full screen mode. Again, I'm just gonna pause the recording while the machine boots up. Okay. As you can see, my machine has rebooted and I'm now in full screen mode. Just to note, I did have to minimize and then maximize the screen just for it to go full screen. You may not have to do that, but just in case. Okay, um, so that's it. The install of Ubuntu 2204 is complete on VirtualBox 07 with the unattended installation process. Now, there is a, a got you, um, just in terms of how the unattended installation process works. So the account that was created for us during the install process does not have sudo access. So to get around that, um, we, we need to reboot the machine. Um, and as the machine is booting up, we need to um, keep our finger on the shift button and from there the machine will uh, boot into an advanced options mode and within the advanced options mode um, we'll be able to select the root account and then give our new account uh, pseudo access so I'll just run through that process now so I'm just going to open a terminal here and I'm going to type Reboot. So, 
but just as the machine is booting up here if you keep your finger on the shift key you should get the options that i see in front of me here so we want to select advanced options for ubuntu so just using your keyboard press down and then press enter and then we're going to go into recovery mode so the second option here Okay, so when we get to the recovery menu, second from the bottom, we have the root option. So just with your keyboard, you just need to go down to the root option using the down arrow. Once there, press enter. You can see then at the bottom, it's um, asking me for a root password so the password we use here is the same password we've used to log into the machine the password that we set at the very start during the unattended installation so i'm just going to type that in here now and press enter okay now you can see i have a i have a prompt here using the root account okay so once here there's a command we need to run and the command I'll put it in the video description below. So that command is, one second. It's gonna copy it here and paste it in. Okay, so it's sudo user mod. dash a g sudo and then you need to put in your username so in my case that's vbox user so that's the default account that was set during the unattended installation process and that's the account i've been logging in with so this command is going to add the vbox user account to the sudo group so once you have that typed in, you just hit enter. That's it. Now we can reboot again. Okay, and when our machine comes up, and this option we just we just want to select the first option here so it'll boot into Ubuntu. But yeah, and when your machine comes up now, your account should have uh, pseudo access. So you can do various things like install software and things like that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, as I said, there, the instructions are in the description below the video. Um, if you found this useful, please leave a like. And thanks for watching.